Hey, ready fish. Still the 26th of January, 2018. And I have no idea what this means, but I know for a fact that it was put before me to put before you guys. Because I'm sitting here at my desk earlier and looking through my little headlines. And I see out of the corner of my eye, there's a, ri a window immediately to my right that goes out into my property and out towards the woods and right there is a nice big red fox just casually trotting right by my window and i got dogs i got stuff you know i i was just beside myself I'm like what so you know i didn't have time to videotape it or anything but what i did was at the time i was on here i go you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna i'm gonna refresh this and i'm gonna click the first fox article i see so that's what I did. And of course, it's not going to be the same article, but I'm just illustrating what I did. But the first article that was from Fox was this one. Egypt places Colossus of Ramses II at New Museum's entrance. Now, I see a connection here. Okay, so I keep following, right? This thing was put up last Saturday, which would be the 20th. And it is the original 3,300 year old 80 ton 13 yard high. They have to put that in there. Ramses too. Now, my biblical knowledge, as you know, is not that sharp. But if I'm not mistaken, Ramses, at least the, this dynasty, was the very pharaohs that were like in charge during the exodus it, it correct me if i'm wrong but this is this guy was 1300 bc i believe the exodus was in that time frame 1500 bc 1300 bc somewhere in there but i just thought that that was kind of crazy because if you go to the the uh calendar here the uh, jewish calendar the 20th the fourth shavat was that day that they dedicated this thing it was on the fourth of shavat Okay, the fourth of Shabbat is the Sabbath, and they have all their studies and everything. And you guys can read all this, but I just like clicked on their Torah study for the day, and the Torah study is Exodus thirteen one through thirteen. I and I'm just like what? And I go there, of course, and this is the Exodus. This is like right then. The, the day you came out in the month of Abib, Nisan. And of course, I would very highly recommend you read this, but this is really fascinating stuff to me. I just, you know, I can't, you know, decipher it all that great, you know. Talks about the uh, unleavened bread, and, you know, this is the first commandments, you know, when they came out. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Sanctify unto me all the firstborn whatsoever open the womb which they also refer to as the matrix. Therefore, I sacrifice to the Lord all that openeth the matrix, being males. But all the firstborn, my children, I redeem. And it shall be for a token in thy hand. And I'm not even talking. I'm talking about this in a spiritual sense. Okay? There is a blood, DNA, a, a, a literal connection all the way back before the exodus all the way back to the garden and you know you can take that any way you want but i know it to be a fact even if it is a a supernatural uh you know like mechanism in the dna because you know they lie through their teeth about what the dna really is and for this to pull up 13 1 through 13 after i follow a fox going through my yard which i never see I had one last year that I almost got him. He was snagging my chickens. But um, this that's just pretty crazy. So something to do with the exodus, you know, the Jews, Egypt, pharaohs. I don't know what to tell you. This is just what was literally put in front of me. <laughs> so there you have it. All I know is you need Jesus. So if you don't know him, get at it. And uh, peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might.
put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 